My husband and his ex teamed up against me because I refused to pay for their kid's private school. He confessed to cheating on me with her after I confronted him about it. But he didn't mean it. Context. I 30F have been with my partner 36M for four years, and we have a two-year-old child together. I have five-year-old twins, full-time custody as their dad passed away, and he has two children 7, 12, who he has 50-50 custody of. I was brought up in a pretty wealthy family where me and my siblings attended private school. And this was something that I valued and wanted any future children of mine to attend also. My twins are now finishing their first year of school at the private school I attended. I pay for their tuition and my husband knew they would be going as I made it very clear that I valued this. He also agreed that it is a good investment and would want our child to attend also, paying half each when the time comes. His children do not attend a private school, but attend highly ranked public schools. Since the twins started school his ex has been causing issues and saying that it is unfair and showing favoritism that my children attend a better school than theirs. My husband agreed and they applied for the same school. But when time came to accept the offer, BM changed her tune and could no longer afford to pay her half. Note that my husband pays alimony and child support totaling to almost 50% his wage and we pay for most other miscellaneous expenses. My husband asked if I would pay for her half and I said no. Ever since this happened he has been distant and accuses me of not loving his children enough and treating them differently. Yes, I could afford the other half, but I don't feel that it is my responsibility. I never ask my husband for any financial help towards the upbringing of my children and wouldn't expect that of him. I felt confident in my decision to refuse, but his constant negativity, the comments from his ex and judgment from his family for not paying are making me doubt myself. Am I in the wrong here? Edited to add, I have offered to pay some of the fees. I offered for us all to sit down and discuss finances and abilities to contribute. This was refused and BM shut down and began refusing to pay any of the fees. The situation could have been avoided had discussions like these been had prior to application. I was not involved in, only informed of, the application as they, are not my children so it was none of my business. But it is now all my business when they want me to pay for the entire thing. I'm going to talk so and see if BM wants to open discussions and maybe something can be arranged for the next enrollment. Also, lots of comments assuming my contributions to the family or that I am treating his children poorly. I have made comments, but I'm just going to include it in the post to save repeating myself. I pay 80% of all finances. I pay for our holidays and day trips, all of which we arrange during our time with SKS. I am also the sole contributor to their college funds currently. I completely take on board comments about how the children might feel as ultimately. I think this is the most important thing. Conversations with them have ended in them expressing not wanting to move away from friends 12 especially, or being neutral either way. This is absolutely something BM pushed for and led, and had she been open from the start, I am sure something could have been arranged. Update. Firstly, thank you to everyone for all of the advice, suggestions, and overall support. I wasn't sure I would update on the situation, as it seemed like something that would be an ongoing discussion. However, I guess this update post is in fact nothing to do with the issue of private school. After reading comments and doing some reflection, I initiated a conversation with him to discuss everything. I once again suggested decreasing child support and alimony and paying together. But I also brought up how unfair it feels that he and his ex have teamed up against me in this situation. And I do not feel that we have been behaving as a partnership. I brought up my grievances regarding feeling used and unappreciated, and how he treats my twins being unacceptable. I voiced my desire for us to have time apart and get into therapy saying that I needed some space to think as I was unhappy with the effect this was having on the children. I won't rehash the entire argument, but after talking about how I feel his relationship with his ex was inappropriate and crossed some boundaries, I was made aware that he and his ex have slept together multiple times during our relationship. I don't have much else to say. I feel completely numb. I have asked him to leave the house as mine, before I get comments, and I am talking to a divorce lawyer. For those who asked, I do have a prenup, and we have only been married for just over a year. He swears that it was a mistake and he regrets it, that he loves me and wants to be with me. According to him it just happened, and I should be more understanding that they have a history together, and he didn't mean anything to happen. I don't know that I will be replying to any comments or updating any more as there is nothing left to say. I need time and space to heal and to work on being the best mother I can be.
I am feeling probably every emotion possible right now. I feel like a complete failure. I have a lot to figure out, especially as we have a baby together. He hasn't asked to see his daughter or stepkid since leaving, despite me reaching out to ask if he wants to see our daughter. Once again, thank you for all the initial support I received. 